Hey guys, Dom here. I just finished today's workout. Today's workout was part of a little performance string that we do. So, um, pretty much the way we worked today was two minutes of work and just change exercise. So, take your break as you see fit. I managed to get maybe the first four rounds out of two minutes each. Um, back to back pretty much other than the time to transition. So I put a five second buffer on the clock um, But even still I still took probably another five So maybe ten seconds to get from one exercise to the next and then straight into it um, And there's only four so four out of fifteen it's slowly deteriorated from there uh, And that's the whole idea of the workout the whole idea of the workout is to be something that pushes you not necessarily hectic, but just on the go the whole time. So what did we do today? We only did eight, 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 eight exercises. Um, first one was simple wall ball slam. So I grabbed the 20 pound or the nine kilo, sent me above the head, drive it hard in the floor, slam it hard enough that it's a wall ball, it will bounce back up. Dead ball won't happen. So just did that, continue for two minutes, one every sort of three seconds, four seconds, had a bit of a beep going on another timer. From there, straight into uh, a heavy dead ball. Um, in this case, you had a choice, either oblique slams or ground to shoulder, um, which is what I did for the first time. Second time around, you'll see I did shoulder, overhead press, and just let the damn thing fall to the floor. Exercise number three, onto the ski machine. Just ski, just two minutes of skiing, Try to get it under two minutes per 500. Just that way it forces my heart rate up, forces me to get into a rhythm. And it also helps me focus on the stroke rate. So when I'm doing that, I try to keep around the stroke rate of around 22 strokes a minute. I try not to go anything more than that. It forces me to focus on technique rather than short little sharp ones, big nice stroke, and then obviously use my back. After that there, um, we were on to, what was it, kettlebells. And you see we did, did some arm curls with kettlebells. They're awkward, but that's the reason. That's the reason why we're doing them, because it forces me, as I bring it up, it'll force me to bring my wrist in. Dumbbells, we have a tendency not to do that. We have a tendency to do hammer curls. So this forces my wrist up. If you've got a fit bit, just be careful you don't smash it. So dumbbell curls, I just simply did four right, four left, four doubles, and then just alternated. And you'll see there's a couple of videos posted today about that. From that, the one that pretty much ruined me every single time was onto that assault bike. My target was 65 to 70 RPM, which nets you about 35 calories in the two minutes. So I'm not going flat out, I can get the 35 if I sprint, but the aim was just to be constant. So push and pull, push and pull, and even my dogs are saying hello. From there, after the bike, you come onto the floor, uh, grab the heavy dumbbell, up above the head, and overhead walking lunges. I get four strides in the shed, turn around and change hands, up and go back, and four strides again, and just alternate up and down for the two minutes. Uh, burpees, or in my case, I prefer body drops. A bit easier, don't have to jump so high, and also forces me to get my hands and my chest and hips and everything right to the floor. Again, the target is to get 20 of those in the two minutes. Again, if you look at that, that's one every like four to five seconds. It's pretty easy, but just be constant. And then the final round was back onto the bike. This time, not as fast, but still sitting at 60 RPM. A little bit slower, but just constant. Push, pull, push, pull with it. Um, that's seen in my eight rounds. I get an opportunity to repeat them. And thank goodness I didn't do the bike for the fourth time. That's 15 rounds of two minutes, 30 minutes, 2% daily. That's it. My name is Don McStraw. I run the McStraw Method. Uh, if you like the workout, comment, like below, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Most of this stuff is hidden. It's not public, but I will release them in due course. Have a great Monday. I'm off now to get another couple hundred calories just by walking my two dogs. Cheers.